The ODM leader Rail Odinga has denied that the government is bankrolling his presidential campaign as claimed by Deputy President William Ruto. Raila has instead claimed that William Ruto may be the one using public resources to sustain the lengthy campaign he's been running since his election into office in 2013. Weekly for catch with details on Odinga's political foray in Western Kenya. Odinga's Sunday activities began with a church service at St. Joseph Shibuya Church in Shinyalo constituency, Kakamega County. Here, Odinga underscored the importance of the church while urging for peaceful coexistence in the country during and after the electioneering period. The Azimula Umoja presidential flag bearer in the company of other leaders then proceeded on political engagements, including stopovers in Shinyalu, Kayega, and Ikolomani, among others, where he welcomed more leaders into the Orange Party, such as Navaholo, Member of Parliament, Emmanuel Wangwe. <laughs> Raila denied claims made by Deputy President William Ruto that his campaign is being funded by taxpayers. The ODM leader said if he becomes the next president, he will ensure proper utilization of public resources. Odinka drummed up support for his 10-point agenda, which he claimed had been tested and successfully applied in more developed economies. Leaders who accompanied Odinga dismissed claims by their counterparts in Kenya Kwanzaa, who allegedly suggested the ODM leader did not care about the Lear nation on matters development, even as they reiterated their support for Odinga's presidential push. <laughs> Odinga is expected to conclude his four days of campaigns in Kakamega County tomorrow with political engagements in Lukuyani and Lumokanda, among other places. Weekly for Cage for Sunday Express from Kakamega County.